and welcome to Arjun's Kingdom. Today I'm going to show you another one of my apps and it's a square calculator. And that square calculator calculates the area and the perimeter of the square. And if for the people who don't know what the area and the perimeter is, the area of the square is the length times length and the perimeter of the square is length times whole. So why don't we get started? Uh, I'm going to show you on this the square calculator I made. So these are all the code blocks I'm going to be using. Let's go to design. Let's put down a label and then you can write in it whatever you want. And now I'm, I'm going to put a text input. Text input. Where is it? Okay, I found text input. Don't write anything in it. Just leave the text input and then put a button and you can put anything on it, calculate anything you can put on it. And then put a label saying perimeter and area. I said it in the wrong order. You can put it in any other order you want. So, but I'm gonna do it first area and then perimeter. Make sure it looks neat. Okay. Uh, make sure it looks neat. I already said that once. What am I saying? Okay, so once you are done placing the area and perimeter, which I'm not done, so I okay, once I'm done, I'll start talking about it. Okay, now put down another label put down a uh, yeah i forgot to change that now we should change it put another label and get rid of whatever is written in it not that this one get rid of whatever it is written in it and Okay, that font size is good enough. That font size. And I, I also have to mention, make your font size look nice. Okay, so I put down my label. It has nothing in it. And I'll put another label and get rid of whatever is written in that as well. Okay. Also change the position to make it look neat. Mm -hmm font size change it to whatever font size you want and now it's time for the coding I think oh yeah I forgot to do this I forgot let's do coding put on event and in ID put that text input or button one I forgot I'm I'm a bad teacher just put button one in there put set number ID a label a four or in it other cases it could be any label then put a multiplication sign then put what we call a get number get number in there and another get number and then put in the ID uh, text input 4 or not 4 1 or text input 1 and then you put set number again set ID a label 5 or a, or in other people's case any other label and then repeat the process but this time instead of putting get number in the multiplication spot you put get number times four for perimeter put get number text input four and now right there uh, four and that right there should work now press run now put uh, any number you want press calculate and those and the number should appear so anyways, that's my square calculator. Hope you enjoyed. So anyways, bye.